Welcome everyone. This is Yi Huang and today I teach you how to make chocolate dot. Yes. <laughs> this is rich dark chocolate filling and I use 70% of dark chocolate. You can use 55% semi sweet chocolate or milk chocolate. And this perfect indulgent chocolate tart you can make without crust like flourless chocolate tart or bake into a sweet dark crust. Today I bake this chocolate with the sweet crust. Now, let's start with the dough, or you can skip this if you decide to bake it without crust. I like to prepare the dough a day before, and you can divide the recipe easily to half to make one 9-inch dot. The ingredients are 400 grams of bubbles flour, 200 grams of salted butter, 200 grams of white sugar, 2 grams of baking powder, 2 large whole eggs, Combine the butter and sugar into the flour and a pinch of salt. You can break the butter into the flour. Mix like making crumble. Take your time and break it down into small fine crumbs. Then add in two large whole eggs. Use your hand mixing the dough. Or you can use food processor to do this process to make your life easy. Yes! Mixing all ingredients together. Then form into dough, divide the dough into half, drop and chill in the fridge at least 30-40 minutes or 2 hours or more or freeze it up to a month. When the dough is cold enough to roll it out, dust the flour on the green work surface. Use the rolling pin to roll it out to a quarter inch thick or thinner if you prefer and roll it out the size of the tart more of the pie dish. Chill the crust before bake. In the meantime, prepare for the chocolate filling. This recipe is perfect for one 9 inch dot. Ingredients for the chocolate filling are 225 grams dark chocolate, 150 grams of salt butter, 45 grams of white sugar, 2 egg yolks, 2 large whole eggs, Combine chocolate and butter. I use microwave to melt the chocolate and butter mixture. 40 seconds at a time. You take out the mixes to mixes and go back to microwave and add another 40 seconds and take it out and mix and repeat it until the mixture completely melted. It takes a bit time for mixing like that, but you don't want to burn the chocolate and set it aside in the bowl of a stem mixer. Combine the eggs and sugar. Use a balloon whip. Start from lower to high. Whip the egg mixture for 5 minutes. And while you're waiting for the egg whipping, I spread the thin layer of the raspberries puree and some fresh berries on the third crust. And you can add more if you like, more raspberries. And you can also use frozen mixed berries instead. Yes! Now the eggs whipping is ready. The eggs is, is forming and triple the size. Gently fold in the melted butter and the chocolate mixture. Fold to well by. Before you fold in the chocolate, make sure the chocolate still warm to touch before you fold in the batter. One teaspoon of vanilla and pour the batter into the cold tart crust. Again, you can bake the tart with or without crust, or even no berries is still yummy. And bake at 350 degrees in the oven high when the crust is golden and brown and the filling is firm to touch there the tart is baking it smells so good this is still warm you have to be patient and don't take it out while it's still hot and now it's ready to serve so you can sprinkle icing sugar or cocoa powder or it's just perfect like this and 
it's just an option okay. I like to add some chocolate ganache on the top to give it a smooth shiny look and sprinkle some frozen rice raspberries for color or uh, fresh raspberries some chocolate shaver to have more chocolate and complete dessert. Wow, this luscious dance texture it is so smooth and beautiful and slight the dark chocolate perfect about the sweetness from the dark crust and berries is nice especially this fresh baked chocolate tart love it love it i love it i love it thanks for watching and I hope you make it and enjoy it like i do <laughs> thanks for joining me today and until next time bye mm, it's yummy delicious